Jennifer. Uh, have you got a, a water anywhere? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. So what was the appeal originally of being a part of Dead Rising? Uh, for, well, for me from the first movie? Yeah. Um, I, I, well, because my partner, my partner, that's early. my part, my role was actually supposed to be a man in the beginning. And for whatever reason, they also, they let me audition, even though it was supposed to be a man. And um, I, I liked that. I liked Pinky, that she... She was a strong character in that respect because originally she was meant to be a man. Mm -hmm. And I felt like if they had written her as a woman, they wouldn't have written her that way. So I, I was like, no, no, leave the things. And I really wanted her to have, like, at first they gave her a, a very female name. And I said, no, she needs a name that's, I mean, they picked Jordan, which is not what I would have picked. I, I, what I liked about it is that it had a, it was like a male part that then all we did was switch and make it a woman. And we left a lot of those elements in that, that was what appealed to me. I was like, I wanted to be able to play that a strong character and a character that they thought should have been a guy, and I wanted to show them the reasons why it didn't have to be. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And for you? Oh, the appeal. Um, it was me. <laughs> I'm very appealing. <laughs> um, oh, the appeal for me. Well, I got to work with these wonderful, strong women. Um, it's great to play um, strong female characters um, and, you know, roles that are really empowering to women, like Keegan was saying. Um, and yeah, I got to kill zombies with a spiked bat. That was a <laughs> <laughs> um, shoot, Nothing wrong with that. Let's be honest, why we really want to. Yeah. Uh, shoot an action packed movie in 18 days. Um, yeah, it was it was really quick. It was fast paced, and we worked long days, but we're all really happy with the um, with the product, and the fans are into it too. So what more can we ask for? Yeah, absolutely. Do you like the 18 day shooting? Is that something you no. prefer? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, that doesn't no, take we love shooting. it. <laughs> I mean, you feel a little rushed. Ideally, um, I'd like to get. Um, dig my fingernails into a character a little more than that. I also started filming um, this movie the very next day after I wrapped The 100 after six months straight of playing Octavia. So I didn't have a lot of time. I felt a little unprepared, but um, hey, that's life. You gotta roll with it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it would be much nicer to have, you know, six months and shoot once two scenes a day. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. Who wouldn't love the luxury of yeah. one of those? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. 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 There's definitely some the same thing. really good physicality in the movie, and this franchise is known for taking, you know, awesome weapons and chainsaws and blades and all sorts of things. Was what was that process like for you in the sequel to get kind of like I said, down and dirty with going against the zombies, uh, like hand to hand and everything? It looked really intense. Oh, good. Yeah, I just liked that I finally got a combi weapon because I didn't have one obviously in the first <laughs> in the first movie, and I, I I called mine the slap. What did I call it? The stab chop. Yeah, I called it. Yeah, the yeah, yeah, and we had yeah. names for all of them. What was yours? Yeah, called? mine was called Fourth Base. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what we called Jesse's. I don't know. Can we say that? I don't know. Can we? Why not? I don't know. Jesse's was called Pussy Thrasher. Yeah. Oh. Okay. 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 Maybe don't put that out in wide release. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For the young PG fans. Site? Yeah. 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 We just had to joke and keep it light with the long days and stuff. You know, yeah. it's, it was like pretty dark, serious content. So we we had a lot of fun on set, joking, laughing. Mm -hmm. So, so I was just wondering, before the, you guys got attached to these series of movies, were any of you guys uh, fans of the Dead Rising game? Did any of you ever play it beforehand? Is this the part where I lie? Or I yeah. <laughs> no, because look, I'm, like, like, I'm, 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 I'm mom of yeah. small children. I, had, I, didn't even know, I didn't even know that game existed. Because I'm not a gamer, right? I don't think that should come as a great shock. Um, but now that I see how huge it is, I'm like, how did you not know about that game? Okay. Yeah. yeah, giant successful game. So. Yeah. Yeah, I was in it. I was in the movie. You yeah. were in the movie? No, no, no. You know. Oh, I was. I was joking. No, no. You'd be like telling me, you know. I'm gonna leave and come back. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. It's yeah. almost it's over. Yeah. yeah. It's, the, it's, it it's the beginning, more. but it's almost the end. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I had no idea about the movie, the game anything. I'm bad. I'm not a gamer. I don't have time to watch TV. I mean, really, yeah. Uh, I didn't have TV growing up. My mom wanted us to go play outside, so just by default, I'm not in the habit of doing it. Um, but, like, I played, like, Super Mario Kart Nintendo when I was a kid. Yeah, girl. That's, that's the extent of my game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I can't stop. 
Yeah. It's like the swearing begets the swearing. I'm just gonna put a black bar over here. You have to be yeah. a sign of intelligence when you swear so much. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm a there. Thank fucking, fucking genius. Yeah. <laughs> and that means there's high IQ. <laughs> Goddamn brilliant. <laughs> Let me see how many people I can offend in the 10 minutes. <laughs> it's Sunday. It's all the guns. They're like, mental note, don't ask Keegan questions. <laughs> um, for each of you, what's your favorite thing about your character and to you, what makes them a badass? Uh -huh. You want to get me one? Yeah, I mean, I my character changed, to be quite honest, my character changed a lot from the original script to what we ended up shooting, which was totally okay, but there was a lot of rewrites and we kind of went different directions all the time. A lot of rewrites. A lot of rewrites, which happens, you know, it's a, it's, it's part of the industry, it's, it's something that happens, so... It started one way, so I had one feeling about it originally, and my character ended up in an entirely different place than what I expected it to be. Um, but I, I liked where she kind of ended up because she was not like a replacement for her, but she kind of stepped in and had to fill the shoes of a very strong woman who had already set the stage in the first film, and I got to kind of step in and try to be that person, and I liked that she she swears and she calls people a pussy if she needs to and like like that was my favorite line and I was like you pussy and that was four in the morning we were shooting that I'm just saying that like so we I, I, I got to kind of like go past the limits of what you generally as a woman in my 20s as a woman I was just in bikinis being killed in the forest like seven days a week so to be getting naked to, you know like yeah right yeah. So to, to get to a point where now that I'm a little bit older and I'm now in my 30s, it was nice to have that feeling of I, I get to have a voice, I get to I get to swear, I get to, you know, be kind of a badass, I get to go up against big corporations, and, and I like the metaphor of what our film is in terms of what's happening in today's society with pharmaceutical companies and what's going on in the world. I think it's actually... Yeah, there's a pretty good parallels. analysis of, of, of what's actually happening because we have a serious problem with what's going on. And it's kind of a nice representation of that in a fun, campy sort of way. So as a female, to be able to bring that and represent that and be kind of a badass and, and you know, fight the man, fight the power, was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. And to be next to a lot of other two, two wonderful, strong women in their own fucking rights, it was... <laughs> I can't have a Sunday morning yes. comic con. Huh? Yeah. Like, I have no voice left. No use uh, center left. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, it was a really, and we did it very quickly and, and wonderful team. So it was uh, it was thrilling. It was a wonderful experience. I was very proud to be a part of it. Yeah. You know, I still like it. <laughs> you know, there was a, I, when they called me back and said, you know, because in, in the first movie, Jordan was supposed to die, and I said all the way along, I was like, I'm going to make her strong as I can. Yeah, you, you came, know, and, but thank you. <laughs> you came back <laughs> swinging. She came back. Good. I love yeah. when I saw the entrance. I, I love like, that. Yeah, it yeah. was great. I, I, I really, I, they, she was supposed to die at the end, and I was like, you, you're not going to want her to be dead. You watch from mm -hmm. day one. I said that, and and they still kept it. And then they did the like advanced screening. Everybody was like, "Why would you come kill her? Don't do that. That's stupid." And they took it out. And I was like, "See, I told you." So when they said they she's killed me like back, seven times, right. <laughs> <laughs> and Pat, like back. two weeks ago, Pat was like, "We almost killed you." I'm like, "The movie's out. <laughs> the movie's out. <laughs> Stop, Stop killing back. us. Yeah. Like we need the strong female characters." I'm sorry. Continue. Which they did. <laughs> like that. That was always a mandate. I think from even from the first totally. movie, they they were on board with that. And so then when they called her me what was going on in the second one I was like yeah I, lo I, I loved that for me I mean look never as much of it shows up as you want to be in there but I felt like the story that I could create for her about where she was for those two years and what was going on I loved to be able to dig into that I was really happy about it and I loved that she was gonna get to kick some ass and I I thought it was just great, and particularly, look, I'm, I'm 44 years old. To be in a movie with, like, no makeup on and, yeah, and, like, laying some waste to people, I felt, in particular, really good about that. You know, I feel like I'm representing the, all the older ladies. All the older ladies. <laughs> well, you and I were in, we, we trained together. We were training for the movie because this one had to fight and, like, do the thing, and so we started training. And this one, I mean, I was like, yeah. Lifting the rope. <laughs> Good job. Good 
dying over here. Okay. She was fucking right in there. Like, <laughs> totally poor, like, she got ready to go for this movie. So, so well, you look amazing. Like, you're strong. <laughs> you're strong. Yes. And that's what I wanted, and that's what I hoped for, and that's what yeah, I, I, need I feel like I you saw. You know, I felt like she stayed strong. and yeah, um, you brought that. I would love, like, if this it's continues great. to dig further into those totally. dark places where she was and, and all of that, and I would love the opportunity to do that. And, uh, but that's, like... The basics of why. Did I answer your question? Yeah. <laughs> that took a long time for you to answer. <laughs> Got it. Ah, Sandra. Um, <laughs> what I liked about Sandra was uh, that I liked uh, the selflessness of her, um, even though she was chipped versus um, to you know get out and run. She decided to stay right there in the heart of, of the danger um, and fight it. Um, so I really uh, respect that about her, and I, I think that's what makes her um, a badass, essentially, is her bravery in the face of fear. <laughs> digging out her And I was going to say, digging <laughs> out your chip out of your, your yeah, that's that's where again, gross. your shoulder yeah. was pretty, yeah. pretty badass. I mean, yeah. I, I, you got to do what you got to do in the last second, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're amazing. And the, the, the strength at the end when you, like, when that guy, I loved when the guy was like, we gotta get out of here. They're coming. We're gonna blow it up. And he was like trying to bail on you, yeah. and you were like, "Go yourself. Like I'm yeah. gonna save the day right now on your computer." And she just stood there like a strong ass woman and saved, literally saved the day at the end. It was nice. It was good. It was like a. I feel like there was a strong female representation. For sure, that was yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was very cool. I mean, people don't give women enough credit. I mean, no, they don't. Yeah, we work we're all y'all. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's the birth. Yeah, nothing without us. It's hard. You know, it's for real. She did it. Like, you know, it's tough to be a woman. Woman nowadays. It's not, you know, the, the whole like equal pay thing, and it's proven that you know a woman that does the exact same job as the man does gets paid less. Like we need to. You know, I'm really glad. Like. Um, we're in the day and age where women are, you know, allowed given, to have a voice to fight. For yeah, a voice and yeah. given the credit that we deserve. Like it's 2016. It's about freaking time. Like, uh, you know, and we're just the three of us are, are very privileged to pay, play these uh, strong female characters. Yeah. yeah. All three of these characters too, I feel, have a very important kind of factor with Chase, uh, Jesse's character, <laughs> kind of influence him in different ways, motivate him, or influence his decisions. Could you talk about working with Jesse and just kind of seeing how your characters interacted in the in this movie? I'll start. Uh, I Jesse and I get along very well. I, we're still friends to this day. We met up at the beginning of this film and we actually did a movie like 10 years ago together but really? okay, yeah John Tucker was died like very briefly but this is the first time we really got to interact um, I really enjoyed it he's he's got a very strong work, work ethic and like very focused very dedicated to I've seen him in several projects now very dedicated to the project which is great and I enjoyed it and, and him and, and I have this interesting relationship with it because I was his like replacement for Jordan in a sense and so I kind of like subbed in for her and I think there was a frustration for my character for Joe for the whole thing because like get over it like we need to move on there are things that need to be done that are more important than one person's life and I liked that about Jill that it was like it, you know like I care about your life I care about the people that are involved but it's bigger than us there's there's more lives at, at stake than just this one person that you actually cared about even though you cared very deeply about her so it was weird for, for me to, to step into another actor's shoes and kind of take over what their role was, even though I know that she, she I mean, you know, obviously read the script, all of the script. <laughs> so I knew, she, I knew she was coming back eventually, but it was funny to kind of step in, and I know Jesse kind of felt the same way. It was like I was the substitute Keegan for a little while, um, and, but we got along famously, and it was a delight to work with him. Um, I enjoyed our interaction as characters because I felt like we were, you know, when he gets in a fight with Sandra in the newsroom, I'm like, so I don't know, drink. <laughs> what are we gonna do? And we cut out a few, uh, we, we cut out a few moments. Um, they got like a little dirtier, a little messier. We like, had a couple more drinks at the bar and stuff because 
no reason for us to live between the film up. But it was nice to have those moments with each other to kind of, we, by the end of it, Jesse and I were like, it feels like we're really fast friends. And the, and the whole thing. Like, we felt like bros during the whole time. Like, bros. Like, we got. She was a bro. Like, she was supposed to be like, like a bad, like a hard, a hardened female character. And we kind of had like a bro out situation. So we, we got along famously and it, it was I, I really enjoyed working with Jesse. It was interesting. I would do it again. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And the characters were, I, I think that they fed off each other really well. I think they really helped each other and worked in conjunction with each other until he was able to find, you know, the first, the first one. The original the, Jordan. The original. <laughs> the original Jordan. The real Jordan. <laughs> well, I think... Um, for me, well, obviously we had the whole first movie, right? So we had, and I think whenever you shoot these little kind of indies, not terribly high budget, and you're trying to throw it all together in 18 days, there's a lot of pressure, and it's a lot of, um, the, the days can be hard. It's a lot of like, go, let's go, let's go, let's go, and you saw how much, I mean, if you watch that movie, you see how much physicality Jesse put into it, and he is that kind of actor. It's true, I mean, it's one thing, his work ethic all is like, sense. he's very prepared, he has very specific ideas about what he wants, and um, he's really dedicated to trying to make the best film he can. So I appreciate that in another actor. It can sometimes make everybody be like, you know. But I, I think when you're willing to fight for whatever you think is right for your character, I always appreciate that. And we had, you know, in our first movie, we were always on the phone together, which was, it's kind of the worst way to do a scene for an actor. And we sort of were like, oh God. Like I was afraid of how it would turn out. so many of us. <laughs> we're not oh, like, favorite. like it became our joke. I'd be like, call me, you know. All we did in the first movie, so it was really nice for us in the second movie to be able to butt the real scenes together, and I, and I liked that. I liked the continuation of what we had, and and just on a personal level, like I feel when you go through movies like this, you feel like you kind of have been through a certain storm together, and I think that's what I feel like. Jesse has my friend, you know. We were like, wow. <laughs> you get to the end of that, you're like, Phew, hey, that was good, you know. It's physically exhausting for you guys. Like I, my character was originally supposed to be behind the enemy lines and doing the zombie thing, and when this kind of revamped the whole thing made more sense for somebody to like, you know, Which I was like, but you want to kill I want to kill zombie! Yeah. I don't want to do it! So I was upset about that, but it, it made so much more sense when I saw it. I'm like, yeah, no, absolutely right. You made the right choice. I was supposed to be on the outside. But like, the physicality of what, very what you guys did, it was very demanding. And I didn't even remember that we did that in 18 days. Yeah. And, we, and you did that in 18 days. That's crazy. For some of those big, like those big fight scenes. Oh, that scene at the end when he, like that, I'm like, that alone should have taken 10 days. days. When he was killed. That took 10 hours. That, that was 10 hours? <laughs> 10 hours, yeah. I, when I watch, I'm like, that's five days. On the last day. That's five days. Second to last day. Yeah, second to last day. Ten, 10 hours, but it was a day of rehearsals. We had a day with uh, the oh, set team. Wow. That yeah. Like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It's catching like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, dear, really? And I'm like, 